The superintendent of Santa Fe Public Schools says the district could be facing a more than $7 million decrease in next year's operating budget, meaning there could be cuts. She says a drop in enrollment is a main factor. Let's get to News 13's Brady Wakayama. Brady. Jackie, I spoke with the superintendent of the district, Dr. Veronica Garcia, who told me this is the worst case scenario. However, she's optimistic it won't be as bad as the $10 million hit the district faced this past school year. She says the $7.1 million decrease could happen because of a decline in enrollment. Garcia says of the district's more than 12,000 students currently enrolled, an estimated 615 of them have opted not to enroll for the coming year and instead are choosing homeschooling or they're going out of state. Garcia says they might have to make cuts in staffing because of it, though it's unclear where those cuts would be made, but Garcia is hoping that could be avoided with federal aid and help from the states. We are still um, working with the public ed department right now. It's the worst case scenario um, to see if whether or not the district would qualify for a hold harmless provision that would fund us at the same level that we were funded last year. She says the district and the state are on different pages in regards to how much money the district ended with last year. That's what the state is going off of when it comes to districts being approved for that hold harmless provision. Garcia says the district's ending balance was $114 million last year, but says the state calculated it was about $8 million less than that. Now, Garcia expects to get more answers from the state about the anticipated def deficit early next week. Jackie, back to you. Thanks, Brady. The district's finance committee has until June 1st to submit a finalized budget to the state for approval.